We're here in front of the famous La Floridita restaurant where Ernest Hemingway used to frequent. We're waiting for our free food tour from Strawberry Tours. I can't wait. Let's go. See the inside. So this one, you can no idea. Is it good? Yeah. So far we've had croquettes and pizza. <laughs> I didn't film the pizza, but it was delicious. One whole pizza cost 75 cents. This is 25 cents. Tubo del melocaton. Melocaton, no sé. What is it? Very strong. But what is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fruit cocktail, but it's got rum in it. So it's just, it's almost like one of those little fruit cups you eat at home. Yeah. Just like that. Yep. Go, go throw in some rum. We got it without rum. I think there's everything here seems to have rum. Oh, you want a drink? You want some rum with it? Sometimes, but not always. Yeah, I'm you were to just drink my coffee as coffee. But it's got cream, condensed milk, and cinnamon. It looks so good. Should I stir this? Yeah, stir it. So that was really special. We were told to never buy cigars on the street, so we weren't quite sure where to get authentic Cuban cigars. And on our food tour, we just happened to go to a shop. That was amazing. I bought one cigar, it was a Romeo and Juliet Churchill. They made it specifically, specifically for Winston Churchill to get him to smoke their cigars. How cool. We're gonna go to a private market. So these are private citizens selling their own products. It's like a Guinness beer. It's like a Guinness stout. 
So the bubbles are really small, it's not very carbonated. It's very syrupy, it's almost like less water, more syrup. It's very, very sweet. It's got a unique smell to it. So we ordered a mixture of octopus, fish, and shrimp. No, okay. octopus, shrimp, and lobster. You ready? You want to try mine? What is that? Oh, okay. Is that like Villa Roja? Yeah? Oh, yeah. I can share that one. It's salty. Salty? Very salty. A little chewy, but not really. Not bad? It's going to be a little chewy. It's not so much chewy, but just very salty. Oh. Yeah, so it's not chewy. It's just very good. Very good. That's really good. That's the best octopus I've ever had. So this food tour began at 9.30 a.m. and it was supposed to last anywhere from two to three hours. It is currently five minutes to 2 p.m. So definitely went over and we were supposed to check out of our Airbnb at noon. So we're almost two hours behind. We have the key for the next person that's staying at this Airbnb. I feel pretty bad about it. We should have left the key behind. But for all we know, maybe they won't arrive for a few more hours. But that's it. Uh, highly recommend the strawberry food tour, for sure. All right, we've got our bags. We're off to find our next Airbnb. We know where we're going, I think. But just because we can find the front door doesn't mean it's gonna be easy to get in. But this isn't our first time trying to do this, so. I'd like to say we're a little experienced, but I do not have the most confidence. We got a little turned around, so we took a taxi instead. enough we were worried that we weren't going to be back in time to bring the key to our last host and when we got there they were in the room and cleaning and it wasn't a big deal and now that we have found our new Airbnb uh, the person that was staying here the night before did the same thing that we did the whole room is clean his bags are still there but he has the key so we can't use the room quite yet so we will wait and until he comes back otherwise we're just gonna do some exploring Our new front door, our new stairs. Oh no, this chain doesn't work. Oh. Alright, never mind. <laughs> that was a fail. New string. Stop 
at a little restaurant for some drinks and tapas. Got ropa vieja tapas. We tried it earlier today. It was so good. A lot of the Cubans are like, ah, you don't need to try that. It's it's typical. It's whatever. It was tasty, and this looks great. Look at their presentation. Ready? pork on bread, but it's still very good. And two for one mojitos, how could you beat that? I don't know if you can hear it, but every night in the park, hundreds of birds flock to these trees and just squawk. I'm afraid to walk underneath them. I don't want to become a target. 